back to another video. This is gonna be a quick little video on a small little mod that we're about to do on the Velostra N. I'm really excited just to change the interior a little bit with this because it just looks so clean. And uh, yeah, so what we're gonna be doing today is we are going to be replacing the gauge cluster on the Velostra N with a SoCal Garage Works carbon fiber gauge, gauge cluster. So for those that you don't know, as we've shown in our other videos, SoCal Garage Works makes some pretty freaking amazing stuff so really happy to get this in here to see how it looks to match some of the other carbon fiber that we have going on in here and we have some extra stuff going on the outside that i'll be showing you guys soon so we're gonna go ahead and try replacing this like i said and in order to get this out i don't think it's just clipped in i think there's some bolts so we're gonna have to expose some of this area down here to get the bolts that two screws that hold this down so i'm gonna start off by removing this side panel you can see there's a small indentation right there. I'm gonna put a small like little plastic uh, pry tool and try to pull up on it from right here. And then we'll also go ahead and remove this out of here and try to see how to pop all this stuff out. All right guys, so before we try to pry this back, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up this uh, window trim, window sill right here, door sill, and to get this popped out. That way I can put this in here, which I already did, and pretty much start popping this out. So. I'm gonna set you guys down real quick because I'm filming by myself. And pretty much that's how you get that out. So after I get that out, I'm gonna remove the two screws that are holding this pot, uh, like little pot in, and we'll pop that out. And sorry for the car being so dusty. I work in the desert, have my windows down a lot. So a lot of the dust gets in here. So please forgive me for how dirty she is. I forgot to show you guys as well. Besides these two, you have these two as well. So make sure you have kind of like a stubby screwdriver. I'm actually gonna just use a flathead because it fits right in here, but pretty much you're fighting this door. So just need to make sure that this comes off. I'm not gonna strip anything. And yeah, so I'm gonna remove these two and figure out what we're gonna do next. After we remove these four, you're gonna have one more right here. And I'm taking this is gonna be able to pop off this bottom piece so I can access this because it feels like it has like a notch behind it so let me go ahead and pull that off and drop this to see if that all right guys so pretty much that's all it took um i just pretty much there's two little like little like notches right here that hold into this i pretty much pried the top one back pried this one back and everything was held in by clips so a little bit of force not too nothing too crazy and then afterwards i can either leave this hanging which i think i can because it's really not in the way um, but if you really wanted to, you can kind of disconnect the OBD too, but I don't feel like I need to. If I do, I'll let you guys. So I did decide to remove this. The car's dirty, figured I could just wipe everything down right now. So there's two little, I don't know if you guys can see them, but right here, there's two little clips inside of these little areas. Push those in and you can kind of pop this out and it comes right out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to remove this out. And then I think we should be able to be able to pop it off. So gonna go ahead and see how someone try to film this while I do that but we're gonna take this off but what I had to do is put my pry tool behind here to release these two clips now after that was released I stuck this right in between here and popped out and it popped out just like this so from here I'm gonna try to just kind of like put you guys down one more time right here hope you guys have a good view and I'm gonna just try to pull this straight out sorry so pull that straight out and as you can see that released and then i'm stuck with just pulling this bottom one out so let me pull this out and we'll continue all right so she's out I'm gonna drop this right here with this clip push that out and now this is off and i can clean that off as well so i'm actually interested in trying to wrap some of this stuff now that i have it off with some comic book material so i'm gonna see about that and we'll continue pulling this bad boy off we have it looks like clip that's for that and that's for that so maybe no screws i'm gonna go ahead and try to see how i can pop this off and I'll all right guys so far it's been a success um started prying from here got my finger under here and pulled this off and then after that i was able to kind of like sneak my finger in here and just start prying off we have everything off now so the only thing holding this on now is this piece because it's all one piece so gonna try prying that off see where i can put like a screwdriver back here somewhere just to start prying it and then this whole pop top piece will come off and she's mine all right so pretty much 
force my hand behind here to kind of lift up without using a screwdriver and everything is now released so now that we have this ugly thing out of here we can clean off everything i'm gonna spray everything down make sure i clean everything because it's pretty dirty see if there's anything hidden back here from the other owner maybe like a million dollars or something or some drugs that i can sell nope that's it but Put everything back and we'll see how she looks. All right, guys, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't a pain in the ass to get in because of how the carbon fiber just wants to stay in one piece rather than plastic having some type of flex, but man, does it look good. Still need to get everything buttoned down, but everything's clipped in. Looks nice and flush, man. I that <laughs> this literally kicked my ass. I was, <laughs> did not expect for it to take that long but really happy with how it looks i'm gonna put everything back on and we'll go get a good shot and just like that we have a carbon fiber cluster and as you can see the fitment on here is absolutely insane <laughs> So I was gonna make a separate video on installing some carbon fiber interior pieces, but I think I'm just gonna mash it up in with the gauge cluster. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be replacing these little covers right here and the one back there with some carbon fiber from SoCal Garage Works. So um, what I'm gonna do is I kind of force this back there and pop that right off. So clips are still in touch. I, did, I already pulled it off earlier, but I wanted to kind of record it, but yeah so that just pops right off you know want to make sure that you're pushing even force with it we'll do this other side right now all right and so installation should be the exact same way carbon fiber piece with the oem clips and we're gonna go ahead and Snap this in. And just like that. You have carbon fiber trim inside. So I'm gonna go put the other side on. All right, guys so thank you for watching hope this video helps anybody that's interested in taking any of this stuff apart but uh fairly easy hardest part was just trying to get that molded carbon fiber piece on there because there's no play in any of the really in any of it so 
hope you guys enjoyed i know i love the way that it looks it's gonna make me really happy to drive this thing every day again and um yeah so really hope that um you guys enjoyed the video